Hello, my name is Hans Schmitz and I'm an agricultural meteorologist with the Purdue Cooperative Extension Service in Gibson County, Indiana. When you're thinking about installing your own personal weather station, you need to think about the cost of the instrumentation that you're going to buy and the quality of the instrumentation that you're going to buy. As an example, I have some weather instruments behind me. On my left, there are some thermometers. Thermometers tend to be extremely sensitive to sunlight and can give erroneous or incorrect readings if exposed to sunlight. So if you're going to have a measure of temperature in your personal weather station, you need to think about providing shade for your instrumentation in some way, shape, or form. As you can see here, perhaps a wooden box painted white with slats is not your cup of tea, but it is traditional traditionally something that the National Weather Service has used for their instrumentation. On my right, you can see a rain gauge. This is probably, if you're a, a farmer or a gardener or horticulturalist um, with sensitive crops, the most important thing that you'll want to measure, the amount of precipitation. This rain gauge, as you can see, is a heavy duty rain gauge that can record a large rainfall event what you need for your personal weather station is probably much less expensive. If you would happen to want to become a Coco Ross or Community Collaborative Rain, Hail and Snow Network observer, or if you don't and would just like a very reliable rain gauge, you can pick one up for about 25 bucks or so um, by going to the Coco Ross website and getting one of their rain gauges. It'll be four inches around. It'll hold up to an 11 inch rainfall event, which should cover the majority of rainfall events that you would want to measure. Another piece of instrumentation is what is behind me. When we're concerned about growing plants, we're often concerned about the temperature of the soil, especially come planting time. We want to make sure that we're not putting plants out in too cool of a soil temperature. So what you can do is install a soil temperature meter or a soil thermometer into the soil and then create a PVC pipe that leads up to an outlet that will give you the soil temperature. These are some of the instruments that you could use to get started in creating your own personal weather station. Mm -hmm.